ATEC 8010 friends, I am back today. I've got some stuff to show you on the back of the A10 that I fixed and just something else that I noticed. So let's check it out. All right, so the first part of this is a little bit of a sad story. When I assembled mine, uh, this piece came off. The little tab right here is broken, but all that does is give me the opportunity to design my own using Tinkercad. This was version one, it was a little too tight. So I made another version that I will be putting on Thingiverse uh, so that anybody who needs one of these or perhaps one wants to make theirs look more fancy with the different colors, you have the ability. The next thing that I noticed was this nifty uh, guide for the cables. Uh, mine was up here so it had the chance of running into these so I am just moving it down to the bottom. But I just wanted to alert you guys that it was an option. And I also wanted to mention how cool it is that GE Tech has uh, this kind of item on here to keep your cables where they're supposed to be. See that cable is all tied down out of the way and there's just no way for anything to get tangled up, which is pretty darn cool. The lives back here, I also noticed that they have cool little spacers uh, to help keep the vibration down on our extruder. So there's lots of cool little things that GE Tech is adding to make these A10s pretty darn sweet. And I just figured I would highlight them and give you a few parts as well. Hey friends, thanks for watching. I hope you found the movie useful. If you did, please hit that like button. If you haven't hit subscribe, please hit subscribe. And if you want to leave a question or a comment, please leave it down below. And if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HO Mod Tech, hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.